Hello YouTube, Vampire Connor back finally after two months. So where I've been for the two months, my computer had aud a like these dodgy audio problems, so audio doesn't play. Then I was away for it was about like a I don't know like a like two weeks. Then for three weeks I was away doing this thing at school called Bush School, and yeah that that was like three weeks. So in this video I'm going to be teaching you like different way different ways on how to use textures. Yeah, is that yeah on the Roblox forums I believe I have it open here like this. I I oops can't like really say like he on the forums he like shows how to make almost like a trick on how to make a like more realistic way of texturing and I have tried to recreate I will put the link and you guys could try copy this but yeah I've tried so this is the original and then this is like that followed you can see when like sunlight reflects off certain things there's no reflection of and then here I've inverted where you know here it's like you know basically inverted and then like yeah, with the word it's just completely um just completely shiny and i'll show you how to you know the basics and how i've done this so first let's get with i think this one so you gotta try to find it like any texture like like, uh, like i went on to texture.com and found this you go to basically you know get this texture and all of that. Alright, so, so I know Roblox is soon. I don't know when is soon, though. But I know, like, the already in Roblox Studio, like, beta, we have PBR texture. So, so in the meantime, you guys could use this method if you want to try it. Like, realistic texturing. You could play around with this as well. So, like, yeah, okay, so... Once we have this, like, there's a, like, if you, you could just check on, like, the forms, like, so, like, it does show, like, a way with, like, using Photoshop to do this, and, like, then a way on how you do it, basically, you know, if we, I'm, I'm not sure, I, I'm still not sure if I'm doing this right, but I think I have the basic idea to it, so, like, you go to P Photoshop and put your image here, you're going to go to um leave uh, oh yeah first you have to add in a um extra layer and put it below then you're going to select this layer and then like select i think it's select then color range and like but sometimes there's two things like if you have an image that is like multicolored it should like already come with bl come up with black and you just select you know black that's what I did. But what I can do, like, I'm going to, like, let's say you don't have a multi, like, let's say you, this this one's generally gray. So, like, I'm going to select, like, a random part. Like, for, like I'll just select the one that's, like, uh, like if you have a, you know, mainly multicolored, you can select black and it will try to do it. So, you know what? I think this, I hope this is fine. Yeah, and you always, you always go keep it inverted. So this is going to be like new, and then you basically just set the fuzziness. And then you go press, you basically go press OK, then press delete like once or twice. And you go select, and then deselect. And this is what it's going to look like. My one didn't, doesn't look like this because like I just selected black as an example of multi color then you go file save as like i already have saved it and you go save a png down here also your other texture right here so i've already have it saved um I, you guys could look on the forums to see all, on how to do this like another way all right so yeah that's what you go do and then like after all of this you're going to go on to 
Roblox and then like go onto your develop and then upload. So I already have the two textures up here. And then how this is done, okay, so you go to your main texture and you know copy the um, thing. You could press Control C or whatever, and then you paste it onto like the like the main part here. Then like I'm gonna use the original, so I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this. I'm gonna put it a bit up, and then I'm gonna change the like the new the like duplicated parts texture to this. So I'm going to press Control C and then like for this you're going to change it's like here and as you can see it has changed and then you're going to want to make your part transparent and then you could see a bit of the difference like you, you can make it a bit down so it doesn't look too strange and yeah yeah so then all you um have to do is you go for the um, the part where you add them the um, I guess I guess specular so like I'm not going I'm 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 going to be honest I'm a bit lazy so I'm not going to really change the parts so we go and make this reflective and then we're going to set this to a reflective material I prefer granite mainly because like it, the, like the sun is just like it's a bit spread out and you could just see the um, the particles quite well this works especially well with cracks like the road textures like like i'm not 100 percent sure how to make it but you could like make it look like this like this is the before then this is after see like it makes you know it make the textures like better so then like for this, I just inverted it. I used the, I turned the specular map into like a non-reflective material, and then the um, texture under it into a reflective material. And it was like that. So instead of um wherever, oh uh, yeah. So instead of you know this being concrete, it's like granite, and then this is reflective, and then the one here. It, isn't and then you should have like it's a bit oh yeah, I have to set this to um concrete and then you have um it's inverted and you could um play around with this to your liking you might like make some very good textures for me I put it on shadow map I think you could have it on voxel or shadow map and I have these environmental but like if you don't want it, like it still has similar effects, like without. So yeah, that's how you could like that's you could just um play with it like that. Then like with this, it's just simple. You add the texture onto your block, yeah, and then set it to the reflection to one, and then material to glass. And yeah, what I like about instead of using decals with textures, when you um scale them, I'm pretty sure it tiles. So that's just a, like a tip for you who who wants to like instead of you who like you know doesn't like textures to be stretched. So like for example, if I instead of um <coughs> wait okay, instead of um using you know textures like if you use decals and you put them textures so like you know it's gonna stretch so like like this so if you so you, so another tip is like you could use you could use this the texture for like tiling instead of like you know, instead of like having your texture to be stretched. <clears throat> so that's my video on like basically like interesting things you could do with textures. I mean, you could find a way to use this like in interesting ways. Like maybe take a look at them. Um, these for the forms. I'm gonna have them linked. But yeah, you could have a look. 
maybe like because I'm not sure if I'm doing this exactly correct like correctly maybe I'm doing it wrong but I'll link to like this like the specular map and then like I guess a normal map in a way and you guys could read on how you do this and like I, I guess in a way these do really well with um cracks and that so yeah that's my um video hope you liked yes i guess i don't know it's your opinion to like or dislike that's going to be my text screen tutorial i probably like will make more roblox studio tutorials now like i'm going to um probably maybe building like doing buildings like tutorials on buildings and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.